Greetings! So, this is the beginning of a new series on my channel where I look at various bits of railroad infrastructure, engines, cars, equipment, and niche weird things that I've been hyper fixating on. A lot of these I have models of, and the genesis of this came from acquiring an HO scale milk car, and um, yeah, that's what this video is going to be covering. If you're familiar with the term milk run, this is where it comes from. Railroads often transported milk in specialized cars, and these were usually on semi-fast passenger trains. Not always on expresses, because the milk cars would often have require the train to stop to, for them to be set off. What I find fascinating about the milk cars is, for one, like all refrigerator-type cars, they're very beautifully painted, and I can't get enough of the graphic design on these cars. They're just neat. This one's got a little cow on it. Because it's, because, it's, because it's milk. It's, it's quite neat. But yeah, these refrigerator cars were specifically designed for carrying milk. And what I think is also quite interesting about these is that they come in so many different variations. Like, when I say milk car, I could mean this one looks like a box car. I could mean um, this one that kind of just looks like a passenger car. I could mean this one, which is just kind of these little tank things on a flat car. Or I could mean this one where it's just trailers that are, again, very specifically designed for carrying milk. Or I could mean uh, this one. Or um, or this thing that um, the um, Borden company made. It's a streamlined milk car. Because uh, streamlining was big in the 30s. Oh, and likewise on God's Wonderful Railway, the Great Western, there's like three different milk car designs and one of them doesn't have siding i don't i don't get this one because the other ones you know the, the other one's a glass line tank and then the other one's like a refrigerated thing this is just an open-sided cattle truck but it carries milk I, I don't understand but yeah compared to something like a coal hopper car where generally everything's arranged in about the same way or like you know a typical box car where it's all just you know the same kind of general style with a milk car, they never really standardized what a milk car is, which I think is just kind of interesting. And if I may cycle back to the, the phrase milk run and uh, sort of explain a little more in detail, at least from what I've read, with a milk run on certain semi-fast passenger trains, usually like local trains, um, they would be running a milk car in with the passenger cars. And when they'd stop at every station, they would either drop off individual milk cans from, like, one of the refrigerator-style ones, or if it was one of the tank-style ones, they would have, like, they would stop at a particular dairy siding or a creamery to have it filled or emptied and so on and so forth. And uh, as a result, you know, if somebody, for instance, would mash all the buttons on an elevator and make you stop at every floor... That would be another use of the phrase milk run. The earliest I've been able to find is that this is from around 1917-ish that this started being used as a term. And I think this is used in like modern-day logistics, which I think is neat because it comes from an inherently archaic concept of trains carrying milk. Although I don't think that term really applies to milk runs on express passenger trains with like the specialized tank-style cars. Because those wouldn't be stopping to every station. Those would be going specifically from, like, a farm branch line onto the main line where they would be going straight to the, the uh, dairy or whatever. And those would be very much high-profile trains. In fact, on Gooch wins regularly, Great Western Railway, uh, the milk trains had the same priority as express passenger trains. They took it very seriously. And they would run big express locomotives specifically for hauling a bunch of milk cars which or milk tanks which again interesting that it's so drastically different the way that they operated these and then there's this beautiful picture of a Lackawanna railroad um and the uh, the big Lackawanna Hudson in this picture is hauling nothing but milk cars and if you look they're not even all the same design one of them's a square one and then one of them's like the rest of them are like the sort of tank style thing. But on the inside, I'm pretty sure the box one has a tank in it too. And because of that picture, I'm running my uh, tank style 
milk car with the cannonball, which is the old uh, Casey Jones locomotive. Oh, and also here's a little motion graphic that I made. This is showing the internals of the tank style milk car, which is the uh, the longer one that I've got out. It's just to sort of help more clearly visualize what all goes into one of these. This is the same sort of technology as a standard refrigerator car, but instead it's using the ice to cool off the big uh, tanks. I might do a video on refrigerator cars at some point because I have quite a few of those. See, there are some model train people that have like tons and tons of coal hoppers for running like mine runs. I, I have a bunch of refrigerator cars because they, they're very pretty. And I can't even, I don't even run most of them because they have mostly plastic wheels and I need to get around to replacing most of them. <laughs> but yeah, this was a fun little video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I might make some more of these.